What's going on YouTube? GSN right here. So in today's video, I have great news for those of you who are waiting for a full jailbreak on iOS 12. So a lot of things happened in the past hours and finally we have a proper remount for the root file system on iOS 12. This is one of the missing components that we were waiting for before we are able to create a proper jailbreak and I don't mean rootless, you know, with manual tweak installation and stuff like that. I mean a jailbreak with Cydia. So if you go ahead in here, you can see that just a few hours ago pound own posted quote successfully remounted the root file system as read and write on ios 12.1.1 and of course he goes on and says quote i just pushed experimental ios 12 remount support to a new branch called remount it is not ready for release and some of the offsets are hard coded so you will have to update those yourself if you want to try it out of course he talks about the github repo of the uncover which is of course meant for the developers this is not a release that you can use for the moment and then of course he posted quote I will be releasing updating the uncover version 3.0.0 pre-release with the remount as soon as the patch finders are ready and work on all devices I mean all the devices that work with the current version 3.0.0 pre-release so at this point we're actually very very close if you remember in my previous videos I told you that we need a proper remount for iOS 12 because the one we had on iOS 11 has been slightly broken by Apple during the refactoring done in iOS 12 and of course we also need a core trust bypass or do we well Jake James says quote my tweet still applies a jailbreak with Cydia and all that can still be made without a core trust bypass it just won't be as efficient and probably buggy and unstable but I'd love to see a jailbreak proving that it's possible so yes in theory we would be able to make a jailbreak without a core trust bypass and the way that would work is we pretty much have the binaries that we would use on a jailbreak you know those programs, binaries that run in the background in order for you to be able to use CDM or, you know, the substrate or tweaks or whatever. Those are binaries in the file system that have to run in the background in order to support the operation for the user. So those have to be signed. We cannot fake sign them anymore because of Core Trust, which checks the certificate and makes sure that it's coming from Apple, either Apple root CA or Apple developer relations. One of these certificates are approved. And of course, in our case, it wouldn't be if we fake sign it. So what we can do is to pretty much sign it normally with a developer certificate that can be a free developer certificate no problem with that in order to make core trust happy but we would have to sign every single binary and we would also have to inject it into amfis or apple mobile file integrities trust cache which is the dynamic one because there is also a static one for apple binaries so the dynamic trust cache that amfi has is used for xcode and the developer images but we also hijack it in order to use it on jailbreaks anyways a jailbreak for ios 12.x will be available probably soon and of course with cdia and substrate and all that jazz and this is the reason i did make a video for jake james's rootless jailbreak on how to install the tweaks now if you still want that kind of video i can make one no problem but i would still recommend to wait for the proper jailbreak now that i remount is out it won't take so long for uncover to be updated and it's better than having to you know move files yourself and so on if you still want a tutorial on how to do that on the rootless jailbreak i'd be more than happy to oblige but I would still recommend you to wait. Now, of course, iOS 12.1.4 and iOS 12.1.3 are currently signed by Apple. None of these versions have publicly available exploits, so we cannot jailbreak those at the moment. Please do not update to them. Stay wherever you're at, but save your blobs. Anyways, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching. Huge news, actually, for the jailbreak community. The first remount for the iOS 12 that actually works, and that's pretty good because the remount pretty much allows us to write anywhere into the file system and to read from anywhere into the file system now the reading wasn't a problem you can do that with my geofiles as well without even having to remount but to write you do need a remount and of course in order to install cdia and all that jazz you do need a remount which now we have so yeah thank you for watching i'm geosnow till the next time subscribe to stay updated peace out